if you're looking across the top there, guys, our quarterbacks, our Fs and our Bs are the running backs. This year you can see, I pulled this one up, we had a guy with our Fs and our Bs. We didn't put Ys and Bs together. We've gone different now. Now our Ys and Bs go together. So we've even adjusted there. And then our Xs and our As are our receivers, our Ys are our tight end, and then our OLs, obviously O-line. And I just cut off the defensive part, but I wanted you to see we do go – we have two-way players, and we do have to get offense and defense done in an hour 30 – or, no, I'm sorry, an hour 45. That's kind of our goal. There's more questions. Our B is our wing. Yeah, that's no problem. Our B is our wing back. Yeah. All right, so for us, the general way we'll do practice, and here's what I want to show you is plays uses you can steal time. Okay, so when we're doing specialty, which we do every day, so we work our punters, our kickers, our – holders or snappers or returners and then you know hardly any old linemen are really going to be in on that group because they're usually not a specialty guy so we'll try to steal time and this one you can tell coach Gould had our long had our, was working with our long snappers but our old linemen were working extra time during that uh sorry during that uh during the specialty period so our linemen are getting that talk time that install time the slow time or they're getting fundamental time. So we'll steal time for them there. We'll also usually steal time for our quarterback there. So a lot of times our quarterback will be going and he's working real little things that he needs, or he's working kind of installing his mind with his coach. Then. So we're stealing time during, that end of, during the uh, specialty and special teams period if they're not involved. Okay? So that's the way we're stealing some time. And as you see the practice layout, so we're going to go individual first. Individually, the O-linemen, you can see where they're working. They're going to get it during uh, specialty. And they're going to come back to individual to work on rollout blocking on period six. All of my periods are five minutes. Just giving you kind of an idea. And we'll try to put a kid on it, with a whistle or with whatever to move us. So I don't want to take longer than that. Pod work. Got it up there. So pod work. Guards are going with the backs. Okay. I'm going to move my little thing over here. Centers and strong tackles are working cut blocks. All right, so our guards are going to work blocks. They're working that with our Fs and our quarterbacks. We're working buck. Okay, our QB is getting his read off a of buck. I don't even know what we were doing that day, which read it was. Could be read, steal, whatever it is. He's working it then. Okay, our, our Ys, Bs, Fs, our Ys, Bs, Xs, and As are working a ball drill. That's usually they're all going to the receiver coach, working some kind of drill on catching a ball with their hands, okay? Period six, we're working rollout, okay? Rollout, our F is over there working attacking the edge. Our O-line are all working rollout. Our Y is going over and getting some work on wrap blocking because he's going to do that for us. Axe is our counter, just so you all know. So he's over there working the counter blocking. So when we come back together and work the counter drill, he's ready. Okay, so we go to period seven. Smoke is a route we run. So our quarterback's over there with our X's and A's working our smoke route. Our F's and B's, which is our running back and wing back, and our Y, okay, are working blocking for counter. And our O-line is over there working blocking for counter. A lot of times we won't bring all of the O-linemen over there, but we did on this practice. We'll let the other guys work something different, but we need our guard and our tight end to work the counter blocking. All right, Bo. Yeah, um, th there's a question on there. Uh, during any time, do you send the Bs to work with the O-line or receivers? Um, it's, it's different every day. Like today, if you look over there where it says F and Bs, rodeo, that's like a passing uh, type of deal. So he'd be getting uh, passing over there. And then axe drill, he'd be getting with the running backs and stuff like that. Um, so he's kind of moving around to different people during the day and, and getting what he needs there. Um, so uh, um, the question earlier was, um, do we get time with like our second and third string and stuff? Some days during the week, um, we, and we had a lot of guys doing the ax drill today. So at some time we may be doing JV offense um, down at the other end of the field while those guys are getting the action drill, reviewing plays with those guys and stuff like that. And then also um, days before our JV games are on Monday nights, 
Um, so we'll get our own practice with the JV uh, before their game on, uh, on Monday. We'll have an hour with those guys outside um, while the varsity guys may be inside getting a lift. We're outside running plays, going over stuff like that, and the positions they'll be in. Yeah, I got to just a plug there, too. If you don't, if you can't play B team games, man, that sucks. But if you can, I don't think we've won a B team game probably in two years because we just, we're, everyone is on our team, we get to go play in those games. So they get a ton of reps then. So I kind of view those as an extended practice. And we tell them those are tryouts. We're trying you out, see if you're ready to come up. Uh, and then you can see for us, we didn't do any group work today. And this is just, I guess this must have been a day we weren't working group. We would work group normally on period eight. So on period eight and nine, generally we would do 10 minutes there of an inside run and an RPO. We obviously weren't working that on this practice. So this practice we were working situations. My bet is we were getting ready for uh, some kind of game coming up and we were needing to work situations. So I wanted to hit more there. But anytime we do team, so period eight and nine is actually a team period, we're going to work a situation. So they're going to know, hey, guys, it's third and seven. It's third and nine. It's third and 11. It's third and 15. Okay, and we're going to work a hash and a situation against the live defense if we're doing team. If we're doing install. That's usually going to be on bags or dummies or during individual time. Okay, but if it's something we want to get going, like a team period, we want to be working as a situation. Okay, then period 16 and 7, so that's 8 and 9. Then we go to defense. So you see on there, Kobe was our quarterback that year, and Nathan Williams was our center. So they're going over, and they're – Bo, I think at that point, I don't think you were doing any defense. So they were going with Coach Gould, and they were going to go work snaps for 10 minutes. And then a lot of times he would take them. Now we've gone and taken them to go watch film. So he'll take them up. We're blessed. Our field is here and our field house is there. They'll run up there. They'll either watch film of practice or film of whatever's going on, kind of get a real a stretch. I just didn't want them standing around doing nothing. You know, we this year, we only, and the one you're looking at, we only had two guys. The next practice film, our practice plan we're going to look at, we had like six guys. We were blessed that year. Only six guys had to play, uh, went, went one way, so we could do more there. We're going to come back into our base offense, and inside of that base offense, we're going to hit Axe, which is our counter. We're going to hit Buck. We're going to, we're going to review those third and eights. So we're going to see all that stuff again inside of our base because it's always going to be a situation. We're moving hash, we're moving field, okay, or we're giving them a down and distance. Then you can see there is early in the year, my bet, so 18, 19, NASCAR offense. NASCAR for us is old Tony Franklin term. It means we're rolling. Okay, and so we have a couple plays that we'll run that are automatics. So even if we don't gain 20 yards, we may just scream, gain a 20. And that year, those kids knew we were going to line up in red and we're going to run buck. So they knew if we scream, gain a 20, they would sprint to the ball, line up in our base red set, and we're going to run buck. I think we maybe ran fast screen with it, but it, the RPO was dead because our thought process then was we got them on the ropes. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Kind of a little Gus Malzahn and me coming out right there. And then you see 